Oh, hello, it's me. I am Jimbo. Uh, this is my friend, uh, Bob. Hello, my ha name is Bob. Hello, hello, Bob. Hello, uh, there, sir. Oh, hello, the, the, the Sparks is waving to us. Hello, hello. <laughs> ah, well, hello, everybody, we're back. It's uh, another episode of Spyro. What else would it fucking be? Um, we are, I think, in the Dreamweavers. Uh, <laughs> If I'm remembering correctly. I love the design on that little jester guy, that's brilliant. Yeah, they were very simplistic in the original version, but they uh, gave them a little more character here. Um, they give everything more character here. He's got like a jester hat on and everything, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, so we're back. Uh, I don't know what we were talking about at the end. I think we were talking about the uh, the, the reason people like um, Banjo-Tooie over Banjo-Kazooie yeah. um, is because Banjo-Tooie gave people who wanted more from Banjo-Kazooie that, quote, more. Um, whereas many people actually like Banjo-Kazooie because it's simple, which, um, you know, puts them off of... Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Gems! No! Do not leave me! Okay. <laughs> that was... Almost left without the gems. Oh, that would have been really bad. I would have had to have backtracked for that. Oh, God, that would have been awful, Aaron. Would have been the water temple all over again. Oh, God, don't even mention... Okay. You so... guys will never, ever see the footage of the yeah. incident. Yes, the incident. Okay, so <laughs> let me uh, let me try to explain the incident so it's on the record. So basically, um, me and Aaron, obviously, uh, earlier this year, a few months back, I went over to his to stay for a week, um, and I ended up staying longer than that for reasons. But uh, while I was there, we filmed uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, we didn't actually finish the game for two reasons. Uh, one, because of the aforementioned incident, um, which we will not mention uh, for yeah. personal reasons. And another for um, another particular horrible reason, um, not as horrible as the incident, but still horrible. Uh, the recording died, or the, the specifically the computer died uh, mid-recording. Something fucking died, because as soon as I changed the channel, I had a blue screen of death. Yeah, it was not great. We, 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 we'd we been recording for a couple of hours. We'd done uh, the Water Temple and Gerudo's Fortress. Um, we hadn't really done anything else. I think we were literally just checking after having... Although, to be fair, the Water Temple took about an hour and a half. Water and... Temple? Bottom of the well? No, we didn't do that in that session because that's in the, 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 the session Oh, before. I knocked that out before I went to the Water Temple, did I? Yeah, you did, you did the bottom of the well and the ice cavern and the hook shot. Uh, and in you the have that. a single session. It's in the last session we, we actually filmed that got oh, filmed. Oh, thank fuck for that. Because, because, um... The thing is, they they weren't the parts that were really upsetting to lose anyway. They were they were more like you know just out of the way things that are like oh great we're gonna have to redo those again anyway. But um, but but the thing that was horrible to lose was the water temple, M mostly because of the conversation we had is what I'm upset about um, because we had like a really in depth com uh, conversation about game journalism and uh, game criticism and stuff, which I really enjoyed having. And it, it wasn't as dramatic as the conversation we had in part six, which I have edited, which is the part where we argued about, well, we didn't argue, but we, we, we had a pretty intense conversation about Last of Us 2, which we won't repeat here. But yeah, it was, oh. it, was it was not like the best. And, you know, I, I'm gonna keep it anyway, because, you know, it's it's, Part of the, it's part. It, it's part of what we are, you know, as, as gamers. We, we we have these conversations, these very intense debates, and it, it needs to be on record. But for Water Temple, we had a really good conversation. I, I don't remember it in, uh, thoroughly, but it was about um, uh, Metacritic and game journalism, uh, game criticism in general. And we actually uh, went through a proper full list, both of us, of our favourite Nintendo games. Um, which will never ever be heard now unless we repeat it, which I doubt. Which I'll fucking never ever even remember what that was now. We literally went through every single Nintendo game in the Wikipedia for Nintendo released games on the 64 and we, we basically talked through like what our favourites were like out of all of them. And, uh, and it was a really good conversation that will never be heard, unfortunately. But yeah, the, I mean, the commentary hmm. was just spot on, but the gameplay... Oh, I'm not even gonna go there. Yeah, Gerudo Fortress and the Water Temple. Up. That that was absolute bollocks. Uh, no, I mean like me doing the fucking Water Temple. You drop down a hole just behind uh, Dark Link after you beat him, 
and you're in the sort of the whirlpool waterfall sort of part of the level right and then you come to the end you pull yourself up onto a ledge and you've got to open the gate hook shot across to the chest and for some reason my brain just did not trigger it, like i long shot it over to the chest and then i just blew straight past it completely leaving the key then ended up having to totally backtrack oh backtracking in the water temple all the water levels had to be redone from the beginning just to get back around there and oh no that was e even talking <laughs> even talking about it aggravates the fuck out of me. uh fuck that man it is worth talking about though because it's a session you guys will never see oh. so but it, it, you know, it's it's a story. It's a story for for videos. I um, hook shotted the chest that we've yet to record, and then somehow just walked straight past it without even opening it. Even though I looked at it and hook shotted over to it, I still just went straight past it. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I don't think I'll ever know. <laughs> oh dear. There's not enough doctors on the planet for that. Yeah. No, I, I still enjoyed it. Like, for what we filmed, it was really fun. And going back through it, um, editing it, like, recently, um, I, I want to do one episode a week. Since we only really got through about a half of the game, we've got about 20 to 25 episodes worth. I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, but uh, we, we need to record the rest at some point in the future. And but that's not the point I was trying to make. The point I was trying to make is um, the, the one issue which I am trying to figure out how to solve is uh, an issue with the commentary, um, which is basically... Uh, the, the reason for it is because uh, we were so distant from, from the mic uh, at certain sessions. Um, uh, specifically, I was quite distant from the mic. Um, the mic was not recording my voice um, at the same pitch as my brother's. Oh man, we can't have a video without the star of the show. No, no, but but like, trying to fix that is a pain in the ass, right? I went in Audacity with the audio file, because obviously we separated the audio and video to make sure I could properly edit the videos. And um, what ended up happening was I had to use uh, Audacity's leveling features to level out the audio so we would both sound similarly high pitch so that when I put the commentary audio over the top of the game audio we would both be above the game audio right so doing that made my voice really roboty um, there's like in in session two which is what I've been working through currently uh, I have a really roboty voice for some reason um, like it, there's, there's points where my voice sounds like what it would uh, in an online game if you've got a really shitty internet connection and your voice starts to go all robot -y. So it's it's one of those things that I'm not sure is going to get resolved. Um, you can still hear what I'm saying and I don't cut out or anything. It's just going to be kind of awful to listen to for some people. But we'll see um, like how that pans out in the future in terms of audience. Well, yeah, we'll see if anyone gives a fuck enough, eh? Yeah, because frankly, like, as it stands, it is absolutely fantastic what has been done. We have gotten through pretty much half of the game and uh, we've got solid commentary, we've got solid gameplay, um, besides the one that wasn't recorded. <laughs> Yeah, because um, if I remember right, you you did the child section, didn't you? I did the entire child section, yeah. Part six only takes us up to right before Dodongo's cabin, so there's still going to be like another session where I'm playing. But after that, there are three more... Se well, there's two more sessions, but it actually calculates to a longer amount of time um, that uh, it's going to be Aaron playing. Um, but it only gets to before we start the water temple, so after the fire temple. Um, oh shit, nope, you die. Um, so basically, I, I have done no Water Temple yet, and I've done no Gerudo Fortress. Mm -hmm. And in order for that to happen, um, we're going to need to uh, start a new save yeah. um, and uh, redo uh, everything, which I will do for Aaron on his behalf um, with my capture, no, not my capture card, my, my uh, EverDrive. Um, because I feel like that would be 
the best thing to do yeah. rather than having Aaron play it. And Because I know Aaron would enjoy playing Ocarina anyway, but I don't want to have to force him to be the one to do that. I just think it might dampen my enthusiasm for the playthrough if I if I had to do that again. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do the, the replay. Um, and then once that's that's done, I can take it with me to Aaron's when I go up there again and we can just carry on from where we left off, hopefully. Um, it would be nice if the file I had done before I went to my brother's didn't have the water temple done because technically the only difference between our playthrough um, that we did and my playthrough, my personal playthrough that I did at home is that I did the water temple but I hadn't done the shadow temple, I hadn't done Gerudo's fortress I'd done everything else we'd done on video um, but I, the only thing I've done that we don't have on the recording is water temple so we could use my file to continue and just skip the water temple but that'd be wrong, we can't do that we need to do the water temple. Yeah, that so. just sounds fucked. I ain't doing that. Yeah. So, so we will, we'll, uh, or me specifically, I will redo the game and do another save. Um, but I'll do it in the new year um, once I've got a date down for when I'm going up to Aaron's. Because it won't take more than a week to uh, to get back where we were. So We'll get it sorted. It'll be fine. It's something that I've been meaning to do since, well, I was a kid. <laughs> I mean... I come back to this game at least once a year, and the fact that I now have it on video, yeah, mate, I'm well happy. I might like once you've got it fully uploaded and all that onto YouTube, I'm just gonna dump it onto a hard drive as well. Just literally uh, steal the entire playlist <laughs> straight into a folder on my hard drive. Oh man, just archive it, man. You'd be better off. <laughs> Nah, man. Fucking YouTube. What's to say that's going to be there in 40 years? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. It's all nothing any of us do matters. Uh, that's <laughs> real, real gamer shit. Real gamer shit right there. Isn't it? Oh, shit. The little <clears throat> mushrooms. Yeah, I know. They're so cute. You kill them and you get uh, health, which I really desperately need right now because I didn't have a Sparks for ages there. Does he kill them though, or does he cook them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it cooks. No, he actually disintegrates them. Oh man. You can't eat disintegrated mushrooms. I've tried. Uh, let me talk about um, something that is really, really, really exciting me. Um, and in the hope of finishing Spyro before the new year, even though it might not happen, um, I have an incredible piece of news um, about 2021, which is uh, something I hadn't gotten to mention yet because I haven't actually filmed a video since this news came out. But um, I went on Gears for Breakfast's Twitter feed. Uh, oh shit, oh god, I have to kill you. I went on Gears for Breakfast's Twitter feed, Gears for Breakfast being the uh, A Hat in Time devs. Um, and on the 19th of November, a few days before my birthday, uh, they had actually made an update, which I didn't see, where they said that the DLC for A Hat in Time would be coming to consoles, was almost done, and would be coming out uh, in Q1 of 2021, which means January to March at some point. There isn't an official date yet. Fucking hell, I but... bet you wanked yourself dry that day. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Dill, honestly, if you fucking knew how much he goes on about A Hat in Time. It's such a fantastic game. But like the, the, the point I wanted to make was, um, as you know, or well, as you should know, uh, I would hope, um, I have been trying to do A Hat in Time for years, absolutely years, since it came out at the end of 2017. And the reason I haven't done it is because I was waiting for a console update that would patch certain issues which the console version has, uh, and also add a bunch of uh, features that uh, even the PC version, the vanilla PC version, had at launch um, that the console version didn't because the console version was a, a, an earlier version of the game than the original vanilla PC version was when that released. So um, yeah, I, I was waiting for that, but it's taken them three fucking years. Um, but now that it's done though, now that it's done, uh, we can actually play it which will be fantastic when we get our opportunity to do that. 
Um, but we're still waiting for the update whenever that comes out. That's so. alright, isn't it? Like, three years and you can finally play a game. Well, I've played other stuff in the meantime. I played, uh, um... What did I play? I played Subnautica last year. I played Spongebob this year. What did I play in 2017? Oh, right. Actually, oh, no, yeah, in 2018, because A Hat in Time originally came out at the end of 2017. So in 2018, I did some Nautica. Uh, no, I didn't. So Nautica was 2019. What did I fucking play in 2018? What was the, the Let's Play I did that year? I can't fucking remember at all. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, right. So many of them. Just look at the channel. There's no need for how many videos you got on there. Yeah, I, I've, I've barely... Oh, shit. Fucking arsehole. Um, you need I've, to start a new channel just to break it up a bit. I've, I've spoken to Aaron about this, but I'm almost at a thousand videos. Um, the Ocarina playthrough, as well as like other stuff that I'm probably going to do going into next year, will, will bring me way over 900. And also, um, my 10-year YouTube anniversary is coming up in April, um, because I, I created my first channel and uploaded my first video to YouTube in April 2011. So I'm not sure what to do with that. Like, if I'm going to make like some sort of special video um, to celebrate, like being on YouTube for 10 years. But obviously, I am slowly but surely uploading my backlog of uh, of, of old content. What are um, you on about, man? Everything you do is special. Oh, not in a good way. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, ain't he sweet? Oh, it was mm. almost sweet. No, he's a cunt. <laughs> um, Almost. Almost. It was almost sweet. It ended up being uh, arsehole ish instead. What did you expect? It's me, for Christ's sake. Ugh. What a dick. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited about 2021. I, like, I haven't really spoken about, um, I, I suppose, this year and wishing well for next year and all that sort of thing, like we did last year, but that's because, unlike last year, where I actually could say Happy New Year and be somewhat. Uh, confident about it. I'm not exactly the most confident after this year and also with the continuing uh, problem ongoing um, that we're going to have a good new year. So I'm not really in... Excuse me? What? What? I didn't even Shocking. get... I didn't even get a fucking chance there. I tried to press the buttons to move and I didn't move. I mean, ev everyone's saying about our oh, 2020, oh, it's so fucking horrible. About, yeah, I'll lend you a couple days of my 2019. Oh, even better. Just one day of my 2018. Yeah, there's, that'll give you a reason to fucking moan. Jesus, man, like, all right, coronavirus is bad. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm not sure if we're allowed to say that name on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Well, no. It, it's right. bad. What's going on is bad. You know what I mean? Edit the fuck out of it the way you want. You know what I mean? But it's not the f worst thing that's happened this year. Not no, I, 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 know, I know that, like, because I know what you've been uh, going through personally. Um, but, you know, I'm not talking about what you've been going through personally. I'm just talking about, like... No, life just happens. Like, yeah. you don't have a choice in it. All yeah. right. Is that it? Is that all the gems? I, I just want to make sure. I would like to think so. I really, really it's hope. Usually an even number. Oh, beautiful. We've done it. And you know what? We've done that right on time, too. 40 minutes. Um, uh, oh, none of the enemies are back here. Okay, I thought they would be. Fair dues. Okay, good. So now we're done with this level, and we're also done with our little 40-minute session. We will record another episode, but it will be going into uh, part of the game that I haven't actually practiced, uh, and I'll also probably pass the control off to Aaron now. Um, I should have done that with this level actually, but he probably wouldn't have got it done in, in this episode. But yeah, you know what? That's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah, mate. Bye bye. Don't you go anywhere. Don't change the channel. <clears throat> oh, I need a drink. Fuck's sake. I'm thirsty, man. Yeah, I didn't really want to crack that next to the mic. Oh, baby. The sound of a can opening. That was actually anticlimactic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit anticlimactic. What the fuck did I just go thirsty for for the last 40 minutes?